Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to continue our DuckTales series with DuckTales Remastered. That's right. DuckTales Remastered came out on all three of the current systems at that time. Xbox 360, Wii U, and the PS3. Basically, it's just a remake of the Nintendo NES version with updated graphics, of course, and HD quality. So we're going to try it out on the 360 because it's just easy for me to record off this system. I basically believe they're all the same, but we'll find out in a few minutes. All right, check it out on the 360, DuckTales Remastered. DuckTales Remastered was developed by WayForward Technologies, unlike their previous versions where each one was developed by Capcom themselves. This time, they just dished it out to WayForward. It was first released as a download only for PS3 and Wii U in August of 2013, and then in September of 2013 for the Xbox 360. Eventually, all three were available on retail discs on November 2013, just in time for Christmas. On 2015, DuckTales Remastered was also ported to Android, iOS, and Windows. DuckTales Remastered is an HD remake of the original DuckTales game on Nintendo. This is a 2.5D side-scrolling action platformer. For those not familiar with 2.5D, basically the gameplay is two-dimensional, while the background are 3D modeled levels. The story of this game is similar to the first, with a little bit added to it. In the opening scene, the Beagley Boys rob Scrooge McDuck's bank. This story flows into the first level, which acts as a tutorial level inside the bank itself. After playing the tutorial level, which by the way you're unable to pass over, you'll fight the first boss, one of the Beagley boys. The boss you're fighting here is Big Time Beagley. You are once again playing as Scrooge McDuck with the continuing help of Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby. Mrs. Beagley is back handing out snacks throughout the game to replenish your health. Bubba Duck, Gyro, and Gizmo Duck all return to make their appearances as well. Your loyal friend Launchpad remains your method of transportation, bringing you to your treasure location and then back to the bank for safekeeping of your treasures. When you start the game, it has three difficulty settings, easy, medium, and hard. You can unlock a fourth difficulty setting, extreme, after beating the game on hard. We'll go through the main differences here. Playing on easy, you have unlimited lives, therefore there's no one-ups hidden throughout the game. You get two hits per heart. There are 8 hearts total if you find all 5 hidden throughout the game. Ice cream and cakes are available on this difficulty, replenishing your health. Also, you can get a complete map of each of the levels. If you're playing on medium, every hit takes a full heart. There are still 8 hearts total if you're able to find one hidden in each of the 5 levels. Ice cream and cakes are still available on this difficulty, giving you health. The map is still available, but it only shows you where you've been, so you have to uncover it all yourself. On hard mode, there are only two extra hit hearts that can be found in Transylvania and Himalayas. This will give you a possible total of five, down from the eight on the easier levels. In addition, there's no map, no cakes fully replenishing your health, and no invincibility coins. On extreme difficulty, there's no continues, so if you use up all your lives, the game's over. There's no map and you have to use the hard pogo, which means you have to hold down the whole time you're pogoing or else it will release it. The items in this game remain pretty consistent with the items available throughout the rest of the series. Of course you have your treasures to be collected for money throughout the levels. The diamonds come in three sizes again. The small ones are worth 2k, yellow ones worth 10k, and the large red ones are worth 50k. The heart piece, if collected, gives you an extra health bar for the rest of the game. As we said earlier, on easy and medium there is one available in each level to have a total max out of 8 heart pieces. On hard and extreme there are two available throughout the entire game. In each of the locations where the other hearts would have been, there is now a treasure worth $1 million in their place. You have the typical items for replenishing health, the ice cream and the cake. The ice cream will replenish one heart, while the cake will replenish full health. The cake is not available on hard or extreme difficulty settings. The coin gives you temporary invincibility and is only available in easy and medium difficulty settings. There are 1-up dials which will give you one free life. 
These are available on all difficulty settings except for easy because it has them in their lives. You don't even need them. Same as Nintendo, in addition to our normal gameplay, there are bonus levels. This time, to enter the bonus level, you'll find it by entering a level and the total has a number 7 in the 5th digit. For example, 70,000. In the bonus level, Gyro is dropping gems from the sky and you can follow along collecting them. From the control room, you have three choices of where you can go. Your handy dandy money vault, extra items you can purchase with your money, and obviously the level selection. In the vault, you are able to dive into your money and your collected treasures. Seriously, who wouldn't want to swim in loads of cash? This money bin slowly fills up as you collect the coins and treasures, and it's completely full when you get to $100 million, so good luck with that. A completely new aspect of the game is the different extras that you're able to purchase with your money collected throughout the game. The extras come in the form of art and music, obviously all DuckTales themed. You can spend your money earned in the game to buy artwork in the following categories. Characters, concept art, sketches, pencil renders, background paintings, music, TV show art 1 and TV show art 2. Prices range here from $150,000 to a couple million towards the end. If you want to pick up all of these items, the total cost is going to be $67,200,000. So you'll need to play the game several times in order to get this much money. Or you always have the option to check out our video where we'll show you them all for free. Finally, from the control room, you'll have your level select. This game contains the same five levels, but this time the levels are completely redone. Most of the levels have some sort of objective that you'll need to figure out and complete before you can continue. No! I don't want to update anything. I just want to play a damn game. So this is like an intro stage or something. This is obviously not in the original game. This is his, like his bank. So Huey's red. Yes, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yeah, Always in order. I thought Huey was red. What the hell are you, bro? Money's more important. It's a switch already. Huey's dying. What's the point of having a lock when you have to floor drops out? They always act like you're trying to help and they're always the ones in trouble. Look at this place, it's a wreck. I did that really quick. I feel like the... Broke into this place in like less than a minute. I just short everything. Oh, okay. I'll focus. We're just, we're not, too, we have to go that way to get the money, we're not going that way for you, buddy. The real is playing disappear. I love them cages. Ain't no sense. That was good, that would do it, should they make it to me both. Look at as if he was. He's locking one bar to itself. How's it keep anything closed? Uh oh. Oh, yeah. You gotta smack them in though. We can't hit him on the head. He's got the. Hit him now. You oh. can't jump on that. Obviously, he's throwing it at you. It's a weapon. Wait till it stops moving. Okay. Go to the right. There you go. Okay, you're pretty good. Figure that out right away. In the Amazon, you have to collect eight coins hidden throughout the level. Starting with level one, you'll notice a pretty big change is that there is consistent story updates throughout the level. The story is a nice addition worked into the levels, but sometimes he just talks way too much and it gets a little bit boring. For example, every coin he picks up, he has to stop and call Launchpad just to give an update. A little needy, you know what I'm saying? In case you can't find the coins in this level, there are little white circles on the map, if you're on easy, of course. After you collect the coins, the rest of the level opens up 
and you can continue to make your way to the boss. Remember the statue that charged you 300,000 to pass through a Nintendo game? Well, here he is again. But this time you can smash him and get all your money back. Revenge. Once you get to the boss, you quickly realize that all the bosses are a little bit more involved in this game. Yes, it's the same boss, but their moves and everything like that are different. The walls and the ceilings of the temple take part in this fight, but get the patterns down and you'll be pretty good to go. It's not that hard. Defeat the boss and get the scepter of the ancient king. Alright, here's where the game actually starts. So the whole intro is like a tutorial. Brand new level, it's kind of cool. So we'll start with the Amazon? I guess. Yeah. I get it, okay? How come I'm not playing? You just played the first level. Because this is the first real level. Well, spit me spat, another coin! You found another one? And this depicts the ruling might of a spear. I know they're trying to add content to the game, but this is really making up. breaking up the platforming sections too much. Well, spit me spats, another coin! Tell us about it, please. Doesn't look like it. It doesn't. They're all the same. Yep. Guess we had to get all these to come here. I found something. There's a carving of Manto Kakwa on the stone slab, and there's eight succulent notches around it. So I'm not sure. Put the coins in, you idiot. Dude, the coins obviously go there. Let's go. Yeah. We're trying to get too much of the story in. Here we go. Up here, Mr. McGee. Why couldn't you just stop back here where I was? Stupid launch pad. Ooh. Oh. Nice. Oh, excuse me, even named Score to Settle? Uh huh. Because he charged 3,000. Remember? 300,000? We just killed him, he gave me six of the red ones. 300,000 back. So yeah. I was like, you kill him for the refund. That's pretty cool. So. This is a. Boss is left, so let me see. That's the symbol, the death symbol for the boss. Obviously, it's a skull, it's a boss. You gamer or what? Huh. I'm just saying that any gamer knows if you see a skull at the end of a map, it's gonna be the boss. You should do. Oh, look, the head comes right off of that this time. That's cool. It's pretty big though compared to the size of the room here. I'll add a little something to it. This is cool. Go! Let's do the top 10 Scrooge quotes. We already got like three or four of them. Curse McKilts! There's a lot of talking in this one, so I'm sure they're going to say them all. <laughs> Spit me spats, curse me kilts. What did you say earlier? Something Spit. about pluck my feather. Pluck, pluck my, my pin feather. So these boss fights are a little more involved. Shit! Wow. It's kind of cool. It's easy. See ya! I'm not treasure. Um, yeah, that's something. <laughs> what the hell? Where's my million dollar bonus? Jumping up, we got diving in the money. What the? Sink or swim. See, there's a scepter we got and all the monies. Oh, instead of the pogo stick, he dies. That's cool. I'm gonna jump all the way. Only for, like, actually gets higher on the play. 
I must hurt. Oh, did you see that when he came up? What? He comes up like... <laughs> oh, he's gonna get some disease. He's <laughs> I came to go for his health. <laughs> All right, I'll see how much higher it gets. Starting out in Transylvania, Huey, Dewey, and Louie are abducted by the Beagley Boys. You have to find them throughout the level and have a mini fight with the Beagley Boy disguised as a ghost in order to get your nephew back. Same as with the first level, if you aren't able to find these areas on your own and are playing on easy, go to the little white circles on the map. Make your way through the spooky level with the ghosts, mummies, transporting mirrors, and illusion walls. You'll notice the minecart section of this game has been greatly improved from the NES version. This level is actually playable now without dying. The path to the boss, Magic of Dispel, is hidden behind an illusion wall just like the NES version. Magic of Dispel has added flames and spinning mirrors to her arsenal of attacks. Defeat her and you'll get the coin of the lost realm. First you tell him don't come with you, then you tell him to stay with you. Leave him at home, bro. Now, now stay quick. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, it'd be great. Now she's gonna stay there. Why don't you leave them all home? Twist me tartan. What? Said so, twist me tartan. I don't know what the hell tartan is. Do you know what tartan is? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. Which one's he? Which one's he? What? Dewey. Tartan is a woolly cloth woven in one of several patterns of plaid, especially of a design associated with a particular Scottish clan. So, like, what you're wearing? I think it's Scottish. A lot more in this one, huh? I'm just gonna put me Jump. I, I did jump. Oh, that's a war. You can't even see anything this level. You can't even see it on there. Huh? I, thought I, was, I thought I was jumping over here. Uh oh. Shit! Jump so whatever. Not far. Not compared to the pogo. <laughs> wow. You didn't hear what he said, did you? No. He said it's a diamond the size of well, Miss Beakley saying she's fat. <laughs> Nasty old man. Hey, that was mean. Look at his face. Damn it. I guess it was his power. I thought it was his power. Shit, I did it again. I thought it was. Uh! Yeah. Let's see about that. This is no. Can I hit this bitch or what? Why are you laughing at, stupid?
20 hits on this chick or something? Freak. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they be friends. And nobody dies in this game. Well, she can't because she's in the end of the game. Yeah. The African mine level is switched up a little bit. You are still locked out of the start of the level, but this time you need to find an elevator key in the top section of this level. This differs from the Nintendo version in that it doesn't send you back to Transylvania to find a key. Once you head down the elevator, you're met by the features of the mines. You'll be chased by some rolling boulders at different sections of this level, as well as being met with another minecart section. Terra Farmer King is the returning boss of this level, with two additional attacks. One new attack is the balls rolling across the screen, and the other attack is the falling rocks. If you really want to know which one is coming up, you can simply tell by the color of the notes the king blows out of the horn. The blue notes are the rolling guys, and the orange notes are the falling rocks. Once you defeat the king, the treasure you'll receive is a giant diamond of the inner earth. Probably got, look at that slug. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but... You think that looks like me? I'm just not giving kisses and really in a mood, that's what I say. Bye! <laughs> hey, it's Gyro, whatever the hell his name is. Gearloose. He was just making fun of his stutter. No, he is ignorant. Oh my god! <laughs> A horrible person, yes. Well, old people can get away with everything. All he cares about is his damn money. Nobody else. So we don't need a key or what? We need that thing. Okay? <laughs> You're not still thinking that that's me, are you? Sorry. Ooh. So it's not locked this time? Oh. See if you can smack them things. Let me tell you a little pro tip in gaming. Whenever they give you like invincibility, they expect you to rush to the high secrets in that area where you're invincible. You know what I'm saying? That's my. They come back quick. That's my pro tip for today. Whenever you're invincible and they want you to hurry, actually just take your time and just look around. But apparently there's nothing here, so let's go. No, you can't. Ooh. Mine cart. Donkey Kong Country style here. You always keep in line with the car. I can jump wherever I want. Oh shit! I'm trying to experiment with it and I die. This is cool though. Yeah. You can't fall out of the car. It stays in line with it. Yep, this is where the thing is. You look down the bottom is probably the better one. It's harder to get to. Shit! That's a trick. Shouldn't get that. I barely made it. Ooh! He's got a crowd this time. Well, now we know their names, though. Terra Fermi King. Bring it, bro. Really? Well, I remember he's already he does something different. No, you don't remember. Yes, I played this game before. Send him out. I ain't scared. Meh. Meh, meh. Oh, what the hell? Can I bounce on him or not? Okay, get annoyed. Look at those tiny little guys. Yeah, yeah. 
This one that right down here. He's like the red one. Woo! <laughs> it's a little more involved than the first fight than the Nintendo one. I mean. On the way to the Himalayas, Launchpad crashes a plane. So of course, with your luck, a bunch of rabbits come running by and run away with your plane parts. In order to get out, you'll have to make your way through the level and find the three missing parts. Once again, on easy, you'll be able to see where all the parts are hidden if you look at the map. On higher difficulty settings, you're on your own. Again, the snow that you can't pogo on, slippery ice, rabbits, and jumping mountain goats work together to give this an interesting winter theme. While making your way through the level, you'll find Bubba the cave duck frozen in ice. After you rescue him, he's so thankful that he follows you around smashing blocks that you're unable to break yourself. So once you gather all of the pieces to fix the plane, you'll have a mini fight with Flintheart Gloom Gold. This is a pretty cool fight here. Hit the bombs with your cane that land on the plane back over to Gloom Gold and you'll defeat him in no time. The main boss of this level is the snow monster, who's a pretty cool fight here. The monster jumps up and down, causing the boulders to fall. You'll have to hit the falling boulder up into the ceiling, causing the huge ice block to knock the monster down. Once she's down here, she's going to be vulnerable, so jump up and pogo on her head. As it turns out, the monster is just a woman who has a thorn stuck in her foot, which as it turns out is the treasure that you're searching for anyway, the crown of Genghis Khan. After you help her out with her foot, she hands over the crown of Genghis Khan. Why oh, doesn't make that face anymore? Yeah, but he makes a face. Come on, bitch! <laughs> he like freezes in the snow. Another one. Seven freaking hearts we got. There's Bubba stuck in ice again. Curse me kilts. Oh, wait, you idiot! Damn you! Ooh. Hey, that's skill. Nice. They fixed that up pretty quick, huh? How do you unbend up a power like that and everything? watching a movie? Yeah. Let's go! Well, he would follow you anyway, who cares? Get to hit it. What is people? Okay, we'll close him up, ain't my problem. Is it back over to him or something? Yep. Yeah. Hey. You proud of me from thinking of that? Mm, I pretty much already had that, but... Uh, but you didn't. I don't know how I hit it left and it goes around behind him and hits the flame. It doesn't make much sense. Yeah. 
You can leave it left and right and it still works. That was rough. Okay, there's no one complaining so far. Is this stuff's taking way too long? I was trying to draw the game out, make it work for your value, but same how you do it. They always do that. You walk past it and it jogs you into the bus. Damn, he's bigger this time. Well. Guess you have to hit him, hit the things down somehow. I don't know how. That's how. Whoops. Oh, come on, Webby. Let me kill something. See there, he said uncle. Lady. Okay, come on. Why she looks so sad? She doesn't have a thing in her foot anymore. She's probably bleeding to death in the snow. That thing's stuck on her foot. Pretty sure it'll leave a puncture wound. <laughs> Stage clear. You can't even smile at the end. The fifth level is the moon. Starting on this level, Fenton is abducted by the UFO. You have to find him in the three pieces of the suit, all while fighting off aliens and ducks in space suits. Fenton puts on the suit and turns into Gizmo Duck, following you throughout the level with some backup heat seeking missiles to help you out. Of course, Flintheart Gloomgold survived the plane crash and shows up to the fight sending his Beagley boys onto the moon to keep you from the treasure. The boss is a rat who before the fight eats some green cheese of longevity and grows to a much larger size than you. When you pogo jump off him enough times, he becomes radioactive and runs across the screen. Avoid him while he's green because you won't be able to hurt him anyway while he's like this. Once you defeat him, he shrinks back to normal size and runs away. You'll get the green cheese of longevity as your reward. Let's go. We've been here for like 10 minutes already. Bay. Sorry. Because if I didn't get a treasure chest, you wouldn't let me hear the end of it. I play, you play everything, and this is actually doable. You think play more. You're on my. You. On this game? Yes. You played every single boss. Well, that's because you're not that good at boss fights. Here, let's get this stupid guy. No gravity, what do you think? What are you doing? What are I supposed to do? Flip the switches. Hurry up, I got all of them in time probably. System restored. All systems on. What work, Mr. McDuck? Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Gundog Head. Thunderhead? What <laughs> the hell is that? <laughs> now, a stupid person. Uh, Dunderhead. I like the little red guys. Excuse me. Kid for Duck's wheel. I always wonder what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a new pedal? You know, just one more fact to find, and I think that up to his flying monstrosity. Why is that monstrosity? Sorry, it's pretty advanced to me. 
Press him back up now. It's a little delayed. Wait, this is confusing. His homing missiles are a little s slow. You're losing them. Where the hell do you go? Citizen. Look at the underwear. There's one heart per level. Give you a total of eight. Bless me, bagpipes achievement. There's the green cheese. Ew. Supposed to be an anti-Asian culture, not an instant growth fungus. Let's see if it's like, yep, it's like Nintendo, not Game Boy. No, oh, maybe not. Pretty sure Nintendo, you couldn't hit him when he was in the middle like that. You can't touch him while he's green. They definitely take a lot more hits, huh? Yeah. Aww. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat. Nothing's he threw up the green cheese. cheese. And all the green is gonna make me. <laughs> After you get all the treasures and head back to the vault, you're surprised to see that Flintheart, Gloomgold, and the Beagly Boys are there capturing the kids. As if that's not traumatic enough, Magic of Dispel shows up and steals the treasures and your nephews. Scrooge now agrees to work with his biggest rival, Gloomgold, in order to defeat Magic of Dispel and get his nephews back. Of course, Gloomgold isn't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. He wants you to give him the treasures in order for him to help. A whole new level, Mount Vesuvius, is created for this game here, leading into the final boss, instead of going back to Transylvania like in the NES version. Flintheart Gloomgold is following you throughout this level as you are now working together. You can see him throughout the level running alongside of you and cracking some jokes at you and yelling at you. But when you get to the end, you find out that Gloomgold has betrayed you and, of course, was working with Magic of Dispel the whole time. He then proceeds to steal a coin right out of your hand. Magic of Dispel puts all five of the stolen treasures into the cauldron which in turn summons the Dracula Duck, here to defeat you. The boss has three attacks, which can be identified by the color of the spells the magic is throwing into the pot. The first of his attacks will be the red color, which are these bats. These bats fly up onto the screen, leaving one safe spot which you must hide in. If you don't get there quick enough, the bats will come crashing down on you. Second is the green one for the dragon. The dragon comes out of the pot and shoots some fireballs at you, which can be easily dodged. The third attack is the yellow one, which Dracula Duck's face turns huge and tries to bite you. Simply run to either side or duck in the middle to avoid his teeth. Once you defeat Dracula Duck, the kids are released. And just like the previous game, you now have to race Magic of Dispel and Gloom Gold to the top to see if you can get the treasure first. This time it is much, much more difficult, with a lot more obstacles along the way. If you're playing on a higher difficulty setting, you have even less time as they make their way up to the treasure even quicker. Even after you get the treasure, you still have a way to go because you have to beat the lava out and make your way up to Launchpad who flies you out to safety. On the hard or extreme difficulties, you pretty much have to make a perfect run or else you won't make it out. Unless you use a little cheat and go up the side here, this allows you to skip a large portion of this section. The one major complaint I have about the game is that all endings are exactly the same on all difficulties, no matter how much money you collected. So, unlike the Nintendo version and Game Boy versions, this has only one ending. Also, you don't even get anything for finishing it on extreme mode. 
the hardest difficulty and you don't get anything. That's my one and major complaint. Have some more endings or some kind of reward for doing good. Ooh, something's up there. I'm afraid how I get the chest to come down. I wonder if you hit him once and you get the head down there? No. Come on. Dude, run this way, you idiot. Hey, you're getting good at games. You're using your brain now, thinking like a gamer. <laughs> no, this is ridiculous. I think it, it's one time every video now you're telling me that I'm ridiculous and then I'm right. Maybe not every video, every other one. Right, Bay? Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay. This is cool. This is done once in a while, damn. This is great. Oh, Got that, bro? You good? <laughs> How does he keep getting in front of you? He teleports? I'm nervous. Uh, it took you long enough to catch up. What Is it heavy the whole time? Oh, shut your feet. You're not getting any younger yourself, you old windbag. Hush. Now we got some old man comments, too. Want to lose the element of surprise? No. You have to tell the little guy. Them in those cages. Release my nephews, you evil enchantress. Oh, I have to jump on him to get. Yeah. Just now it's actually in a spot you can make it. Oh. Middle. Where the, see where you have to go? What? Go where it's a hole. Right there. Right. Hey, one for four. It's not bad, but well, where's? How do you know beforehand? I didn't see it. Ah. Okay, we're doing good, bud. <clears throat> Stay in the middle and duck. Left.
P.A.P. I don't know. Let's get up there for day though. Let me This is a lot of challenging though. Yeah, it's not like you just climb straight up a ladder. Shit. Oh, come on! You got it, Bay? Bitches! Oh my god. Nice try, Magica. But I'll be taking my time with me back to Duck Club. That was close. I'm very like, they probably loop around. Should I say I did a bad job? No, I think you did a good job. I wouldn't have been able to do that. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, bro. What the freak? Launch pad! Get me out of here! Woof. Look at him. I don't look like that. It means we're just ducking the world. Oh, going to jail. For what? It's like he ain't stealing people's treasures? So that was DuckTales Remastered. We played it on the Xbox version. Xbox 360. I think it's a pretty good game. It has different... It has two extra levels. It has that one intro level in the bank. It has the last level, which is a little different. It's in some lava area instead of the uh, Transylvania. Yeah, that level was cool. There's also, I get to collect different items in the level now to get through it. So it's different. Of course, it's the same concept, same stages, but a little bit different. I think it's pretty fun. I liked it. I thought it was fun. The words and the storyline was a little much in some parts, but... Yeah, you can skip them, it looks like. We didn't skip them because you want to record them just in case. But the story... I guess you could say it adds a little bit to the game, but it's just too much. But you can skip it, I think, so. If you don't feel like listening to it, just skip it. I would. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye. I'm really, really hungry. I can't even concentrate.